Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers Studio Series review. Thanks to the team at Robot Kingdom. In today's video we are taking a look at the latest reincarnation of Optimus Prime. This is number 32 and this is of course the Prime that's designed to combine with Jetfire. Now straight off the bat, a uh, little bit insulting to the fans giving us a kind of more accurate screen version of Prime after everybody had already bought the original, but what do I know? Back of the box shows us Prime in his bot vehicle mode. We've got a picture there of 33 Bone Crusher, and we've got a picture of Prime with his diorama. And here we have him out of his plastic prison, along with his highway chase scene diorama, where they first meet Bone Crusher, uh, one of my favorite parts of the movie and Prime is looking pretty darn sweet. So much more so, in my opinion, than their first version, which, like I said, can be quite annoying for fans because a lot of people have paid out money to get a kind of definitive fan version of Prime, and then they come out with a better version. It kind of makes fans want to hold off buying things in case there's a better version a few months down the line. The biggest differences, as you can see, are the hips. Uh, they've got the tyres working a lot better. Uh, these are designed uh, to come down. It depends on how you want. You can either have the double tyres at the foot or double up at the thighs. Uh, it just looks a lot cleaner on here because they're set further back. Uh, this section here reverses around to the rear of the leg, whereas these, of course, are mounted on this side panel. Uh, it's a shame. It's it's a shame they couldn't do something more with that, uh, getting this to reverse around, but, but I know a few people are still happy with how this Prime came out. And of course, the back is a big game changer as well. This is much more like we got with the uh, Revenge of the Fallen Leader Prime or even the MPM Optimus Prime. It just looks better in my opinion. You've got the bumper sections hiding down the back there. The legs tidy up incredibly nicely. You've got detailing on those wheels. In essence is the same figure but it's got those additional tweaks and boy do they make the world of difference. It just tidies up a lot better in my opinion and the colours. Uh, the colours are fantastic. He looks really clean uh, and it's very vibrant uh, far as studio series primes go i think they've done a pretty amazing job and look at the width of that chest as well big difference this really does compact up an awful lot more as far as getting up close and personal with the face sculpts uh, the head sits up a lot higher on the newer version of Prime, but the faces are very similar. It's obviously just the difference in paint, but I definitely prefer that neck piece sitting up higher. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to do something like that with this Prime, but uh, I guess it's the same with any company. There's always room for improvement. That's why the KO figures are so popular these days because they take an existing mold add these little extras and um, give us, in some fans' opinions, a better version. And kind of Hasbro have done exactly the same. Now, weapon-wise, he comes with this blaster and just look at how vibrant those eyes are. I absolutely love how he looks. Uh, I won't do a full selection of scale comparisons. Uh, a lot of that was covered in my original Prime review, but if you want to see um, but I will, of course, cover his transformation and his combination with the Jetfire figure. I do have a couple of uh, blotches there of missing paint on the chest. So it's not perfect, but there's a lot of detail in there, which could really be highlighted if it was kind of a little bit bigger and painted up. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's just check out the articulation, shall we? The head can look left and right, we can go up and we can go down. The shoulders can go all the way around on a friction joint up to the side. 
there we have upper bicep rotation we have a bend on the elbow rotation on the wrist there is a waist rotation there some hindrance from these tires you just have to make sure that they are pushed backwards uh, the legs can come forwards and back out to the side upper thigh rotation there one deep bend on that knee we have some motion on the kneecaps to tidy those up and the feet can go up and down and they can be tilted side to side so a combination of nice tight joints and great posability gives us some really dynamic posing right now to get prime transformed up you want to just remove his weapon uh, it does peg nicely into his hands there and you want to bring these wheels down to the side and then untab these and bring those down as well bring these arms up to the front bring these panels all the way around and with these panel out we can bring the hands underneath and tab this section here bring this over and this piece here is going to flip downwards and then this whole back section will flip up like so so we have this piece here and this tab piece here is going to rotate all the way up now if you notice on mine this one's incredibly loose i think i need to put some heat on that because it's kind of warped slightly which is a uh, very odd indeed very very odd and just bring them around and up and out of the way for now just to keep them clear uh, you can then come around to this chest panel piece and these are going to open upwards like so the shoulder tab uh, is going to come unlocked from either side and that's just going to rotate around this is going to come around to the side and this one here is going to fold all the way back to the back of those windows it's just like so the head can push around and just push and lock into position we've now got all of this space at the back here so these in theory should go one over to other the gas tank can then come around to the side uh, this top piece is going to rock forwards and that's just going to push lock and secure into the top and again this piece just keeps popping out that is so warped uh, i know i just need to apply some heat to that but still it's, it's just annoying really uh, they can then come down to the side and where they come down that's just going to tab in on either side rotate that waist around and with the waist rotated we can now pull and extend these front wheel sections applying pressure to the knees so you just want to push the legs up and around so that just tabs in so just apply pressure push this up over around and just tidy up that back panel and these are just going to push and lock into position this can then come backwards like so and using these tabs on the side here tab the gas tanks in on either side and as we grab these arms you want to rotate them inwards and as you're doing so this arm is going to bend upwards like so and the fists basically just need to sit at the top here bring down these shoulder pad sections like so these two pieces here are going to push and tab in at the front and nipping the nose and this chest section at the same time you want to just push these into that windscreen panel should push there we go and lock nicely into position and then just bring this front panel around tabbing that in so looking at the bottom these panels sit either side of that chest there we can bring the gas cans the parts back in just push those into position and then we just bring these wheels forward straighten off the lower sections and then these are going to basically come in and this is going to slide up 
tabbing in using this tab here. And just push and make sure everything is tabbed in firmly. And there we have Prime. It's actually one of the best looking trucks, although it's uh, also pretty fragile because there's nothing really behind these sections now. So if you push them, they will pop in. But I absolutely adore that truck mode. You've got the uh, Autobot insignia on the front there. Got some fairly short smokestacks which you cannot extend. And we have a pretty uh, ugly bed on the back there as well. Now we do have the ability to mount his cannon on the side like so. I would love for them to do a trailer to go with these as well. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty good look for Prime. Uh, Again, though, it's not without its flaws. Uh, mine doesn't really want to tab in everywhere at once. I'm not going to have this figure displayed in his vehicle mode at all. This is going to be combined up with their leader class Jetfire, which, in my opinion, is still the greatest Studio Series figure of all time. But all in all, it's a fairly decent looking truck mode. I mean, I know it's not a huge design change, but I really do prefer the nose in front of the cab on the newer model. Uh, this actually tidies up a little bit better with the step. I'm uh, not really sure what I've done wrong with this. I think it's something to do with these sections here not rotating anymore. Uh, so you can't really bring the steps up. So they just kind of sit down there now. But I don't know, it's something about it. It just feels uh, slimmer. The paint applications, in my opinion, are more true to the movie and as to are the really nice chromed out wheels and of course here we have him alongside his uh, combination buddy the mighty jetfire now to get him transformed into his combiner mode the best port of action is basically to reverse what we've already done just by untabbing all of these pieces and we're gonna more or less take him all the way back to his robot mode, uh, which is not the most complex of transformations. Once you've done it a few times, it becomes kind of easy. It's just a matter of untabbing things, rotating stuff back around and putting things where they were first time around. So bring these wheels back up, bring these wheels back up. This section's going to come undone, going to come off the back there. These are going to come around, they're going to come around. This is going to come untapped from both sides. And that's going to push head, can push back. And that's going to flip all the way up and out like so. These can then come all the way back to the inside like so. And like so, these can then come around to the side and bring this in. And again with the side, bring the chest panel around like so and bring this in. This panel here, it will flip around, come around like so. And there's a tab here that's going to tab in on the side there. And then this panel here can come in and around the back, make sure the waist is locked in. So we've got lots of space. This is then going to rock down. That tabs in to both of those guards. And then trying not to bend your plastic. These need to be rotated. And then these compress and sit at the back like so. And then this is going to push, lock and secure into the back like that. Right now, if we're going straight from bot mode, if you get it out of the packet and you think, right, I want to combine him straight away. These are going to come out to the side and then holding this entire hinge, otherwise it's going to pop off yet again. You want to rotate those up. So hold all of this into place and rotate this hinge upwards. Untab this piece here, flip them up and up and then extending this hinge fully, bring them all the way down. You want to bring this up, rotate the foot up like so, so that we have the leg 
all the way up at the front. Now if we bring in Jetfire, personally I think as far as parts forming goes, Jetfire is kind of allowed to parts form. Uh, start him off, uh, I'm going to have him in jet mode, so we need to just disengage the front panel. This will come out and these are just going to separate. Untab these pegs on either side. Untab his axe. Come to these wings. They're going to unfold. You want to detach this section. Just pop this jet thruster piece up because you need to get access to this underside. Basically this whole panel here is going to slide down. So with a little bit of force. Just give this a pull like so and that will come away from these jet thrusters and from this position you want to untab this piece like so that's going to come down and basically when we bring prime in these will attach but i need you to do with this with both of those jets detach this piece here to get this off you want to just kind of pull it down slightly and then slide it backwards come to the jetpack bring the thrusters down on the jetpack so that they sit flush like so and just bring these out to either side just tilting them slightly this panel just rotates all the way around untab these untab this and this is all going to rock backwards and then this is going to sit so we're left with something that looks like this these then need to just come out of the way and then we can start combining everything now using this tab on the foot you want to bring that in and that's just going to slide into the back of that thruster piece, like so. This will then rock forward, and there's a tab just here. That's going to slide into the shin. This will rock backwards on this hinge, and there's a circle tab here. That's going to line up nicely with the hole in the mudguard. Push and locate into position. And this is gonna slide down into that void. These rubber sections come around either side and just tab in together and they should, he says, just push in and tab in where the grill is. Jetfire's melee weapon just tabs in under Prime's forearm. We have these tabs on the top of his shoulder blades like so. This just need to kind of be angled down like this. And there's even space to store the axe. You can detach this piece here. These just pop off. These panels just rock backwards to give us some more room around the back of those thrusters. And then we can just slide the axe on if we choose to, like so. And here we have them fully combined up. You know what? I think that's pretty darn awesome. Now we don't use all of Jetfire. We don't use the head and the arms, but he took them for parts. He didn't have to use all of him. So there we go. There is a very nice looking kind of jet wing Optimus Prime. It's not without its flaws. Uh, it's not as much involved as I would like, but everything does kind of tab in. It does look the part. I just wanted so much bigger now i know the likes of iron warriors are doing an upgrade kit for the mpm optimus prime uh, which should look something similar to this albeit slightly more screen accurate i think but it just helps corroborate my theory that jetfire is the best studio series figure of all time now something that really does bug me uh, i wanted to try and see if i can combine the regular prime with the jet fire there is actually from what i can see no physical way i can't for the life of me see how that would plug in i don't think these are detachable either i can't see a way of getting those off i'm pretty sure that they are all part and parcel so if anybody does know please 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 let me know because i would really love to be able to combine this prime with that jet fire just to see if we can save ourselves some pennies anywho thank you all for watching bone crusher should be up within the next couple of days 
I am behind on my KO channel. Uh, I've just had so many good Hasbro products come in that I really wanted just to cover them, but I will try and get up to date as soon as possible. Once again, thank you all for your continued support. Patreons, please, if you haven't already emailed me, you've got two more days uh, to enter the giveaway. And until next time, from myself and Studio Series Optimus Prime, Jetwing Prime combination, ah, goodbye. <laughs>